So how do we find the p-value with the old Excel functions for that same chi-square distribution? So it's equal to C-H-I D-I-S-T and then again that test statistic of 13.57 and then your count is n minus 1. Oops, except you have to finish off with the parentheses, not a weird underscore thing. All right, there we go. So chi dist or chi sq dot r dist dot r t dot r t. I can talk. All right, so there we go. So there's your p value. Now notice this p value is not less than alpha. So if we go back here, we just found the p value. P equals or p value if you like. 0.257. Okay, so if that's the case, that's not low enough for us to reject the null hypothesis because you just found that the area in this tail over here is 0.257. So we do not reject the null hypothesis. Oops, I suppose I could just copy that. There we go, equals 0 0.25. 7, 5 is greater than alpha, which was equal to 0 0.05. All right. So steps 4 and 5 are done. Step 6, we would just say uh, there is not sufficient evidence to support the claim that the proportions of mm, we could say the proportions of millionaires is different than what was expected. I was supposed to say millionaires astrological signs. I mean, it's not just any millionaires. Millionaires astrological sign were different. There we go. Cool. Now, what about using StatCrunch to help ourselves? Well, let's see here. Doo -doo -doo. So, in using StatCrunch, the first thing you're going to have to do is you're going to have to, I mean, I like to fill in the column here with the category names, but you don't have to. But I have the observed, and then I have the expected. And you're actually going to have to go and find the expected like I showed you earlier, you can't um, just have Excel or excuse me, have StatCrunch know what these are. And so I used Excel to do those. Okay, so then you go to Stat, and it's right there, goodness of fit test. So you pick chi-square test. And it says, what did you observe? We observed the observed column. The expected is my expected number column. And I can click Calculate. And there it is. And see, there's the test statistic we found, 13.573571, and the p-value of 0.2575. I love it when StatCrunch backs me up with what I had said earlier. That makes me feel like I have some clue of what I'm doing. Cool. So that's how to do it in StatCrunch. Now, oops. we are all done with Section 12.1. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll be back next time for the tests for independence and homogeneity in section, section 12.2. See you then. Bye.